Hello everybody, it's Mike O'Callaghan here again. Uh, happy Feast of St. Jeff's Day to you all. Hope you're all enjoying yourself. Now, uh, I'll bring exciting news. Um, scientists uh, working at the Large Hadron Collider have discovered the 27th letter of the alphabet. And uh, here it is. It's called, ta-da! Um, that's the uppercase. Uh, and, and that's the lowercase. Yeah, visual joke for you there. Um, yeah, it's pronounced um, and you'll be happy to know that uh, it is suitable for vegetarians, uh, unlike the letters T, B and J. Um, obviously there are going to be a lot of changes made. Computer keyboards, for example, will have to be altered to accommodate the new letter. Um, and the popular word game Scrabble uh, will be revised. Now, currently, um, the uh, ta -da! Uh, scores 350 points, uh, which is very good, but you do have to bear in mind that there aren't any words uh, yet that include that letter. Um, so you will be left with quite a large penalty right at the end. Um, now the the new the new letter comes right at the end of the alphabet, uh, as you would imagine. Um, so you'll go through it as normal A B C uh, up to X Y Z. Ta da! Uh, which feels like quite an accomplishment when you've actually done it. Um, so so there you go. Now there has been speculation about the twenty seventh letter of the alphabet for uh, for quite a number of years. Um, the Hubble Space Telescope really wasn't very good at uh, forging ahead on this. But um, Albert Einstein uh, was actually working on the discovery of the 27th letter of the alphabet back in 1917. But he did kind of get uh, distracted uh, with one of his more popular equations. Uh, he who smelt it, dealt it. And he did go around the, uh, the college circuit uh, with his lectures saying... Pull my finger. No, seriously, pull my finger. But uh, yeah, the guys at the Large Hadron Collider have uh, stopped fart arsing about and uh, made a, a very substantial discovery. And so uh, I'll give you ta da! Pronounced. <coughs> uh, and uh, I've got a couple of suggestions for new words. Um, we do need a word for. Uh, for example, when you're walking in the rain and you step around a puddle to avoid it and end up stepping into a larger puddle. We do need a word for that and that can include... Uh, uh, and also, uh, the sort of uh, we need a word for the feeling you get when you're in the throes of a disappointing orgasm. I think, uh, I think we need a word for that. Uh, and so, until next time, um, I will see you some other time when I do another one of these things. I think I've just petered out at the end of it there.